because you grew up at the Y, and the kind of impact that it had on you, and, and just in terms of just being there and growing up, it was just a natural thing. Well, I mean, just like it is here, it's a safe haven. It's a place to go to, in the summer to keep you out of trouble. And, uh, you know, like I said, we spent all summer every day at the Y. You'd get there at 9 o'clock, you'd go to swimming in the morning, and lunch in the afternoon, recreation, ping pong, pool tables, filling in between. And then they had a program called the Summer Adventure Club, SAC Club. And uh, they would, like... You know, for a buck and a quarter, you go to a Cubs game, or two bucks, you go to a Cubs game with the bus. They'd rent a bus and take us all down there. Or when it was a lot of manufacturing, we came up here to Deerfield to the old Sara Lee plant, and where you would smell all the bakery and they tour you around. And uh, we went to the old Schwinn factory in Chicago one day. It was like a trip that they would take us all on buses and stuff. You know, I lived at the corner. Of that Schwinn factory was at the corner of where I lived on my block. Uh, and that, yeah. and then they became. Uh, uh, oh no, that was the Schwinn House. I think. Uh, 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 um, now, you working, you being a kid at the Y, did that encourage you to then want to work there? Because you, well, I was there so much. They said you might as well work here. Yeah. <laughs> and so my first job ever in life was collecting dimes in the locker room. It was ten cents for a locker and a towel, and I'd give them a key for the dime, and we collect dimes and. All the kids would come in, you know, when they were using the facilities. Because, you know, there's open gym for yeah. basketball, and there were gymnastics classes and all that stuff. So I worked in the locker room for probably two or three years, and then I got an opportunity to work in the executive club up top and uh, work for tips for shine and shoes, and there was a little steam room and a sauna, and it was a little bit more private. They had their own locker, permanent locker up there. I taught uh, gymnastics because I was a big gymnast when I was younger, until I got to be too big. Yeah. Uh, my best friend was a gymnast, and his brother was a gymnast at the high school at Evanston. So I was always in the gymnastics classes. I, I was in swimming. I taught swimming. Uh, those were all volunteer jobs at the time. Uh, but, I mean, I was there every day. And I went to the wide camp. I went up to Camp Echo every year. My kids went to Camp Echo because they had heard so much about it. Uh, they all went, and they lived in Deerfield, but they went down to Camp Echo uh, out of McGuaw, called Y, and, uh, you know, they just loved them. My, my daughter was a counselor, counselor up there after she got older. So it's the Y's been in my family for a long, long time. So I'm going to make my...